Hmm. This office looks familiar. Doesn't it just? Hi everyone, welcome back to Brothers in Gaming. This and is... We're having another crack at the Stanley Parable. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so we finished the game, we think, maybe three times? Four see, times? See, Dan, I, I don't know if you actually finished the game. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? This Stan game decided to go to the meeting room. could just Perhaps be messing with us beyond everything. Well, let's go the same way we did last time, because last time the narrator got confused and, and basically started the game for us. When Stan... Wait. wait <laughs> what? No I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. <gasps> Let's find the story. What? All the doors are open. <laughs> this is the proper ending. This is the, what the pro what proper way to play the game, I think. Wow. Um... I think they just opened every single door for us. I mean, I know the way to go, but... Oh my god, I am so... I said, this is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise <laughs> you just come up the there side. definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> what is going There's on? There's so many... The place is huge. All of his co-workers were gone. <laughs> what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Why the no doors? Oh, what? Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering <laughs> this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. Oh, oh, kind of weird stuff is. Look at all the offices, man. Uh, this door we're over there. Now she takes us back to our office. Aha! Oh, I what? knew we'd miss something. The no. story. Here it comes. Where's our office? <laughs> no, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Well, my screen's just kind of, kind of. Con cloudy. I think, cloudy. It's I think it's supposed to. Whoa. What? Okay. Now this. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognise this place at all. <laughs> Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It. Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Yay! You put in a lot of hard work, and it really <laughs> paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual <coughs> work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded made. out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Christ. There's going to be like aliens coming at the walls or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help <laughs> of the Stanley, Stanley Parable, Parable Adventure, Adventure line. line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? It's like dead space. Huh? You can just go boop and the line tells you where to go. Hang on though. Now he's actually given us a line. Will it mean more if we deviate from it? Oh, hang on. This is going the wrong way. That's not the way. It's 
not the right way at all. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. <laughs> Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being <laughs> via the very manifestation of the nature of oh, life itself? Existential okay, now. Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, <laughs> right? Watching. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Well, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with this game, man? <laughs> It's all happens. Oh. That's a really long way of going that way. Wait, cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. <laughs> Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. Uh, it's a fern. One. Two. I bet he's fucking with us. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Let's cut the leaves. The no. Stems. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I suppose it's not a Sierra game, is it? No. Oh. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know <laughs> we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh. oh no, 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 not again, <laughs> Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Well, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <laughs> okay. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. It's supposed to be an office here, surely. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging so. a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Where's the rest of the world the going? World. Use your imagination. Whatever go, it might be, back. Stanley, I'm ready for it. <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> oh, oh. There is actually a way back. That's really weird. Can we get it? Okay, let's just, just keep moving forward for now. Just, just I keep moving forward. Not backward, upward, not downward. Aha. Oh no, not you again. <laughs> Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. <laughs> no lines or monitor rooms. Yeah. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. <laughs> oh. Like, oh, we should be fine. Just don't acknowledge it. <laughs> Well, I mean... <laughs> okay. Ah, 
A choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's Sit origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all <laughs> accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another what? victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Read this. Ending? Find the confusion ending. Can we restart the game? Re re forget eight, about previous eight restarts. Eight times? <laughs> that's really how all this goes? <laughs> oh, God. Determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, okay. Did that count as an ending? I don't know. Like, because it said the next one is all black boxes and black spaces. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Hang on. Where did we go last time? We went right. When we went over that crane. Thing. We had the opportunity to go. We didn't. We just had to go the same way. I think. This fe it was a forced restart. It doesn't like we didn't have to quit it or anything. It, fe it feels like we should just do what he says. That's what I feel. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping him coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is so unusual. The moment you he entered the code, his mate? manager's office, uh, Stanley two, 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 three, four, in his tracks. Not a living soul any Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single <laughs> minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. So, seeing as we're choosing this one again. Let's turn the mind control machine on. On, yeah. 
The only thing I'm wondering is, after that restart, is there something you can do which then kind of continues that I don't know. ending, maybe. I'm just thinking, if that was actually like a restart... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control maybe it just, if, it's, if it's fixed itself, maybe. Yeah, that's the ending, is it just starts again. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I don't want to just play this game through again like the same way. Now the monsters <laughs> jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. All we could always the do is if we finish so this like this one again. We've got like since I think anything we missed. Yeah. Like there's other endings that freedom mm. meant nothing. That we can do. Because that seems to be what this is about. It's called a parable, I think, just because there this is no real ending. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really oh. been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. Yeah, this he is definitely the same as last time. It. His own yeah. life in it's someone just the, uh, else's control? Never! It's just it the last thing that's going to be different. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. It's on already though, isn't it? Surely. Oh, sure. would dismantle no, the controls input. once and for all. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? <laughs> After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. <laughs> but you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. <laughs> In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. Oh, it's your story now. Shape it to your heart's you desires. There's, there's no, there's oh, no this is there. much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere this moments until the bomb run. goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More it's time yellow. to talk about you, about me. Where we're going. Oh, you can press one. What all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. Okay. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. Let's just you're gonna we gotta go somewhere. Anyway. Let's go. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. We're gonna die. I raised them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take oh, back the control name. wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My There's one button somewhere. It's not that one. We've already seen the one left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. 
I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. How much? Not. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow. Well, the door's closed. <laughs> oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? <laughs> or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? <laughs> I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, <laughs> screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. <laughs> these numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here oh will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? What's, like, downstairs? <laughs> Stanley. Well, nothing. You're in for quite a disappointment. What, how much but time here's a left? spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. What the it's fuck do I do? <laughs> you wanted to control. I don't think you're supposed to do anything. That's, that's that's the point. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's thirty seconds you have left to struggle. Thirty seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or oh, don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. <laughs> I was just running back and forth like a madman for that. Uh, v, 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 sit, sit, bro, bro, v, v stood up and he's looking at the window because it's all too much. V, look. Yeah, I know. It's changed again. Has it? Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Maybe it's just little differences. Maybe it's been playing us this whole time. In what way? Like everything is supposed to this happen was not exactly the this way. way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Hmm. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The maybe, lounge was sublime. Maybe the game just the keeps art, repeating itself, and there's like to get back to no business, way to actually Stanley finish it. Really, first open door you see what I mean? Left. Well, undoubtedly, but... Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten <laughs> off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Oh, we found Let me prove it. a new area. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, I come on. I think we should go through the blue, like, we should go through the, the wrong ones, like, and y then Your rebellious in. spirit is obviously going to make you go through the blue door, it's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, that's new. Oh, we don't have a key card though, so. No. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> um, go through the blue door again. <laughs> oh. I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> properly. Stanley walked through the red oh, the blue door. Blue door. <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this world? You chosen world. Don't let me stop you. 
Well, he asked if you want to know what's at the end of this world. Maybe we should wait till the next episode, then. That's a good idea. Okay, well, we're going to leave it there quickly, guys, but we're going to go straight back on it in a minute, anyway. Um, yes, and we'll see, see you apparently... next week or whenever, but, I mean, I'll see you, Dan, right now. Yeah, so um, until then, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the, the Stanley Powell as much as you can. I hope you are enjoying it. <laughs> I know <laughs> I am. And we'll Ding. see you again very soon.